Hello everyone and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today uh, I've got the face cam, hopefully it's a bit bigger this time because it, <laughs> it was a bit small last time. Um, today we're going to be uh, revisiting my old mining ship tutorial because it's been brought to my attention by a viewer and a commenter um, that the video itself is outdated. Um, when I made the video you could spawn on Earth, for instance, I spawned at one point, you'd have a big landing pod, I know most players know this, but for the new guys, I'm just outlining it, you'd have a landing pod with a full refinery, a full assembler, you'd have components coming out of your ears, and you could set up a base straight away, and you could you, you could find uranium and platinum on Earth, so you could basically build a reactor, and power is just, it wasn't a problem in vanilla um, survival. But a lot has changed. <laughs> A lot has changed since then. So I thought we'd go back and update the video, especially since um, the influx of players due to the Xbox release. Welcome, Xbox players. By the way, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, Space Engineers. I know a lot of you haven't got the um, hardware requirements on your computer to play, and if you play it on Xbox, that's fantastic, because it's a, it's a great alternative. Game still looks great, runs great from what I've seen, and uh, yeah, I mean, you can certainly couch and play Space Engineers. Don't... Don't get much better than that, does it? So, I have selected some miners because um, I have made a couple of miners, but they're a bit like, uh, you know, iffy. Like, they don't fit into any of the categories I'm going to talk about here. And they're not as good looking as Aragath's creations. So, uh, actually, I think the I think the centre one's by Zockley, but I'm not, not entirely sure. So, w with the introduction of small batteries and hydrogen engines we have alternative ways to power hydrogen ships which is exactly what um, is presented in here, right here this is the H-01 Sapper you can buy this at the uh, trading stations <laughs> I feel like I'm doing ship analysis here um, it, ch it's cheap as chips this is a cheap as chips miner because it only uses hydrogen thrusters which are very cheap you only need cobalt iron nickel to build um, this ship and silicon um, it runs solely on small batteries I believe there's four of them and hydrogen so it literally it has no storage other than the drills but that's what it's for it's just a cheap mining ship if you're building your own ships in survival uh, I recommend you take this approach However, we now have the small hydrogen tanks, which weren't available when this was made, obviously. So you could make this a lot, a hell of a lot smaller, and it'll still do the job, because the drills can only hold so much. So you don't have to worry about thrust. But the main point is, if you're starting in survival in Space Engineers, even if you're on a planet, I mean, it's certainly possible, a hydrogen-powered ship is a good way to go, because it's a mining ship to refuel itself and to power itself all you have to do is go to some ice and mine it and then you process it on board if you have the o2h regenerator and you have fuel that's 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 all you need to do the batteries themselves are only to power the gyros and the conveyor system which takes like little very little power so um once you have platinum, you may want to start making ion miners, such as this. This is the mining ship. This is... The, if you spawn on this world where I've started, I believe this is called the platform in the custom scenarios. I don't know if you have that on Xbox. I'm fairly certain you will, but for PC players, it's in the custom scenarios section. And this has been in the game since I can remember. Um, I think it's quite badly built for what it is. Um, but it's, it's a good example of an ion mining ship. Iron thrusters all around. Drills on the front. Uh, O2 should wrote a battery and a medium cargo tank. So you can store quite a bit and it's quite thin. Um, the main thing with mining ships is you need really to be able to bore. If you can't bore, you end up sort of smacking components and you just sort of skim the outside of, of uh, ore patches. What I mean by boring, I'll just show you here. Um, if we the, the, if you if you have a look at the ship, the profile fits within the drills, um, with the exception of the thrusters and the antenna on the bottom there. So if we are to drill, 
I've got one drill going here. Um, does them separately for some reason. We can drill into this asteroid here. And the area mined out by the drills is greater than the area of the ship. So you can go straight through. Now, this isn't as important for... Um, uh, for like oh, ship, sorry, the brain fault there for ships that you operate, but for drones and things such as auto mining scripts, which you might start playing around with after a few hours in Space Engineers, um, that is quite important. Um, I know a mining script where the it programs the the ships to just bore in and out of asteroids back and forth until there is no asteroid. Um, so you might want to keep that in mind. The ship has highlighted another sort of attribute of ion mining ships, they are extremely slow, especially when you have a payload. Now this can actually be dangerous because if you're flying back to base and you have all this ore stored in your mining ship, you underestimate the stopping distance or you're just aiming for your base. By the way, if you come into a stopping space engine, it's always aim to the side of the asteroid. All right, just don't learn that the hard way, learn, learn it this way. Um, it just takes forever to decelerate and because you've got all that extra weight in the ore, the momentum of your ship is enormous. If you slam into your base, you are going to do some damage or you know, one of your ships or whatever. Or even when your mine is fully loaded, if you're just swinging around and you bump into something, I guarantee you're going to damage your components. So external armour, like these light blocks here, while, it, while not necessary apart from looks, um, offers the protection against bumps. Well, it can do if it's placed correctly. If you were to swing your uh, derriere around in this ship, you would damage that connector. Whereas on the turtle miner over here, you have a little bit of armour um, to act as a sort of bumper for the ship. And that brings me on to the turtle miner. This is another ion miner uh, uh, that's purchasable in the game. Quite a bit more expensive because it has iron thrusters, but it still has the same storage capacity because it relies on its drills. It doesn't have a dedicated cargo container anywhere. So we have the sapper and the turtle miner. I would actually take the sapper because the hydrogen thrusters are just a bit more nippy um, and that really can matter. But um, for looks, the turtle miner does look bad. But I just want you to keep this in mind. When you're building, when you build your first mining ship, use hydrogen uh, if you're in space, don't worry too much about cargo containers at first. Just use the available storage from your drills, even if you're in the default settings, because it will be enough. Um, especially seeing as you won't have all the thrust to handle bigger payloads anyway. Stick with the inventory on the drills and the connector, and you, you, you'll get enough ore still. So, um, yeah. Now, miners don't always have to be small grids. Here's a perfect example of that. This is the H-01 Prospector. I did a review on this. I <laughs> I know every block on this ship. So, um, really though, this isn't a mining ship. This is a survival ship. Um, it's designed to keep you alive with mining as one of those functionalities for you know producing components and um, oxygen and hydrogen. However, if you do use a large grid and you use the drills on large grids, you will find that they eat. They, what's the right, what's the word I'm looking for here? You know, they gather a hell of a lot more ore than small grids. So once you start establishing a proper base, it may be an idea to set up large grid miners, probably with more drills than this and more storage than this uh, but you, you can seriously like you could eat an ore patch with a large grid miner if you have enough storage and also because they're large grid you got to factor in the fact the factor in the fact that you can process these ores as you're consuming them and then the ingots weigh less um i think don't quote me on that but i think they do you can have uh, refineries and assemblers on board the, the the ship itself so once you arrive back at base there's no middleman you just input the ores to your assemblers or you can have assemblers on board and input the components to your base
you can't do that with small grids really so they have to be attached to ships or bases uh, in general uh, but yeah so if, if you have watched my last video I mean there's not there's not much point watching it really it's a, it's a good design um, but it's it's outdated now which brings me on to another point here. I didn't get this ship out, but I should have. This is... I feel like I'm advertising myself here, but I'm not. This is my lobster miner, which you can find on the workshop. Uh, this is a hydro-ion sort of hybrid. Where if you're in late game, this is probably the best option. Because if you run out of fuel, you have an alternative to fly on. And the hydrogen boosters just give it that kick. I have six drills and a turret. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but that's, you know, obviously that helps later on when you can afford things like that. But if you divert your attention to uh, behind the drills here, you will see I have eight ejectors. Uh, old players will know what these are for. These were back when stone, uh, not stone, sorry. Yeah, yeah stone was um, useless. You couldn't process stone like you can now and uh, break it down to small components. So we used to have ejectors uh, with conveyor sorters which would suck out stone and then the ejectors would fire them out. So you'd just be removing all that dead weight which was stone back in the day. Obviously that's not a thing anymore. I included that in my last video. You don't really want that unless you have something against stone. Um, the only thing I could think you might want to throw out is, is gravel because gravel seems to accumulate quite a lot but then again it is still used. Um, I think it's used in making uh, reactor components um, and probably some other things as well but it's, it's not an essential resource and you always have way more of it than you need. Um, also turrets on miners. If you're a multiplayer this, is, this can be quite a good idea. Or Another ship that I didn't bring out, obviously, is the Hostile Miner. This you, you, this is another ship you can buy. This has a couple of weapons on it. God, I'm making an absolute mess here. <laughs> uh, if you're in multiplayer, you want to defend your goods. If you've just spent hours looking for uranium and you've finally got some uranium and then someone comes along and snatches it or destroys your ship, you're not going to be very pleased about it. So two things about this ship. One, hydrogen, very quick, it can run away. And two, it has two Gatling guns and a rocket launcher. So it will put up a fight as well as the heavy armour, um, even in a dogfight. Although if you're fully loaded, you're probably not going to be like flying around. But at least you can point, shoot and defend yourself. So that is something you want to keep in mind, especially on multiplayer. Can't think of a reason you'd need it in survival. Um... You shouldn't really be using your miners as fighters, but it could be, you know, a last ditch thing. Uh, 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 yeah, so that's pretty much all I've got to say. I just wanted to rectify the old video um, and just give you a quick, you know, brief on mining ships. In terms of cockpits, I think you want to go with the industrial. Um, the the new cockpit. Hold that thought. Did they call it the industrial cockpit? Of course they did. Um, I used to call it this one the industrial cockpit, you see. You want to go with the default cockpit, not the industrial one, unless you're going for looks, because if you have the the default cockpit, let me just bring it up here, it has very uh, useful conveyors, especially for survival. So if you're trying to hook it up, I'll just show you a quick system you can do. The two ports on the back line up very well with an O2H2 generator. Then the large conveyor lines up very well with a medium cargo container, which then lines up very well with a connector. And straight away there, you've got this beautiful basis on which you can you know you can build your ship. So I wasn't going to do this, but I guess we are. I'm just going to build a throw together a quick miner here. So we can do things like um, ooh, ooh, ooh. what would I do? I'm just going to throw together a really quick ship here. So I'd be tempted to actually space these, but I think you might be able to just attach them as is. No, okay. So yeah. That spine gives you this beautiful uh, basis of which you can build your ship. So if we just push this out one. 
and then maybe we can have some thrusters there. Then the engines. Then the drills. And then, as you can see, we've already got this spine where you can start adding bodywork and thrusters, gyros and all that. And you can make a really simple miner just like this, just off that frame. And then as you mine, um, obviously you're going to want some batteries. But as you mine ice, the ice will go into the medium car container, into the uh, O2 generator, which will generate hydrogen powering the engines, charging the batteries. What you want to do is use the engines to charge the batteries on your hydrogen miners, then turn the engines off because they eat hydrogen, and then just use your batteries. And then once the batteries discharge, use the hydrogen again and recharge them, and then just repeat that cycle. Um, you can fly without a hydrogen engine with just a few hydrogen thrusters, so do keep that in mind. But because of how small these new tanks are, I mean, you can literally just cram them in, like here. And then that'll just give you a little bit more hydrogen to work with. So, yeah. Keep that in mind. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick overview. Wouldn't really be much help for old players, but for new players, I hope you learnt something. If you have any questions about miners or what have you, ask them in the comments and myself or someone else well-versed in the game will help you out. If you want further help or you just want to talk to people in the Space Engineers community and get involved, join the Discord. The link will be down below pinned in the comments or you can go to the description. Uh, there you'll find myself along with loads of, like, I think we've got about 50 people in there now that are passionate and understand Space Engineers, some better than me, and uh, they can help you with whatever you need. So yeah, thanks for watching and take care everybody. Mm -hmm.